After a great win against Derry and two terrible results against both Shelburne and Murphy, are you worried about the club's inc inconsistency to perform as well as they can? Um, I thought the Shelburne game obviously was, was difficult for us. I think we, uh, we touched on that last week, but then I see they went, they went to Limerick and they hammered Limerick in, in Jackman Park, so I think they're an exceptional team. Um, I thought in Murview on Friday night that the team looked for the first time just maybe a little bit tired. Um, you know, it was obviously a difficult game on, on Monday. I thought the first half against Murview uh, were really good, and then when we conceded the, the, the goal, we looked a totally different team, which was disappointing. Um, we've tried a few different things this weekend. It's something that we have to keep on trying to rectify, and, and we will. There's no doubt about it, but um, we, we have a very young group of players this year, and um, it's going to take a bit of time. How will you prepare for the game against Limerick then? Well, we've got our preparations done. Um, as we're talking here, I thought we had a very good session tonight. Um, we did a bit of a, I suppose, a classroom session, if want a better word. We didn't talk about Limerick and we spoke about ourselves. And uh, I think it's going to stand us in good stead, not only for Limerick, but in uh, our games coming up in the near future. Are you excited to see if the new signings can make a positive impact on the club? Yeah, well, I think, look, um, I'm delighted for Tom, I suppose, in particular, because I remember him here the first, um, first few games of the start of the league uh, campaign for Wexford five years ago and he scored a couple of important goals. Um, he's a lot more mature now I think and he looks quite fit and strong and I think that he'll give us a bit of um, mental strength as well which we were, which we, we need to show more of. Um, Mark Freeland obviously looks a very good player as well, he's only 18. So it's the philosophy of Wexford that we give these young guys a chance, you know, and obviously sometimes your results will suffer for that but that's what we have to do if, if we want to keep going forward. And is there any more signings you'd like to make? Um, there is a couple more signings I'd like to make here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, it was a great way to finish. Mark, uh, tell us about yourself and uh, where we played before. Yeah, Mark, I've been 18 years of age, we've played the seven tonight before. I played with Wolfram Crystal far away, you know, I basically played two clubs in the name. Uh, Tom, you've, uh, you've been here before, how do you feel about being back? Good, good to be back. Uh, looking forward to getting a start like, and, and start playing as soon as possible, you know. What have you been doing in between spells here? Uh, back at college, um, playing for IT Carlo. Yeah, I was playing back with the uh, local league team as well. And, uh, for the Irish colleges the last two years as well, so keeping fit. So you scored our first goal here for Icarc Park, are you looking forward to scoring many more? Hopefully, yeah. yeah. How, how are you looking forward to playing in pink? I don't mind wearing pink. I had the last time he wears pink all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Cool.